finally, last but not least, Trans Lifeline has announced that they have a shortfall this year of $2.5 million, I assume, in operating expenses. And this is because they have apparently lost all of their corporate funding. So this year, I remember I even bought those domains for um, Pride Before Fall. And the 2023, like, tranny Pride Fest this year was, like, emaciated. Like, every year was ramping up, ramping up. And then the fucking Budweiser shit happened. And the 2023 Pride was like the weakest shit ever. It had never been, it was like 10 years since it was a Pride that week. And then ever since then, um, this is like an indication to me that corporate funding for tranny shit is just going down across the board. Like it's not profitable in ESG has gone away. Uh, BlackRock is like rebranding ESG. So for right now it's gone. Um and it's just like the money isn't there. This this it's like a it's like the the Woody meme. It's like I'm not interested in playing with you anymore. You're not serving your purpose. You're not you're no longer an easy risk-free way of promoting myself and my company. So bye-bye. I'm done with you. Um cool if you don't know um i did a whole stream on trans lifeline because uh early in the life of the forum back before tranny shit was even like a big deal it was just like some shit that weirdos did um there was a tranny named adf and i i i, I always end up having to summarize adf because i never talked about him anymore but basically if you've ever seen like a a, a poll meme about what modern day communists look like and they're like a it's like a montage of these goofy looking fucks you've almost undoubtedly seen pictures of adf inadvertently because he's like a maoist who just looks retarded so he ends up in all these memes um nina chabul and greta gustava were somehow friends of adf and ADF was like an old school locale that was like a potential like comp competitor to Chris back when the site was mostly about Christian. So ADF was like an early locale in that phase. Greta Gustava decided that he, that he was going to stand up for ADF and uh, personally drove uh, to my house um, to try and intimidate me. Uh, and this was in Florida. So they came up to the door and they literally staked out my house because my mom and I were out for dinner. I come home and I go poo. They immediately knock on the door and then leave. And uh, they failed to intimidate me because I was uh, I was pooping and I never even got to see them. Uh, and then uh, they started trying to deplatform us, and that didn't work. And then eventually, uh, their their main contention with us was that uh, we had found evidence that they were inuring money. They were taking charity money and they were spending it to travel around the world, to fly to Florida, to, you know, fuck with people, then go to L.A. The, what they did immediately after that is they went to New Orleans and they had an extremely luxurious, uh, like, meet and greet dinner at, like, a very fancy restaurant. So they were taking all this charity money for like a suicide prevention hotline and they were spending it on like this travel expenses and shit. And then a uh, female to male troon named Buck Angel, who I would not suggest Googling because he does he, she, it, whatever, does cunt boy porn. And I would I would advise you don't look at that. But Buck Angel got pissed off hearing about this these uh, these details of possible fraud and demanded evidence that this wasn't happening. And then when the reports came in that actually the fraud had happened, Trans Lifeline got rid of Nina and Greta and reported to the IRS that they had stolen $350,000 of charity money that nothing ever came about. Like no charges were pressed, nothing happened. They just left the company and got away with it. Um, 
So then years later, they kind of reformed. I think they got more coverage and better training materials. They kind of like shaped up a little bit. There was definitely nothing as um, obvious as with the Greta and Nina stuff because they were literally just on Twitter and Facebook posting about all the fancy dinners they were having and all the meet and greets and stuff. And uh, they also didn't make any further mistakes of directly trying to fuck with the Kiwi farms, so they didn't have any attention on them. Years and years later, oh, by the way, and this was uh, one of their friends at the time was also Liz Fong Jones. Liz Fong Jones was involved in trying to deplatform Kiwi farms in 2016 because he was friends with uh, Nina and Greta as well. So that's where that feud started. Um, so Liz Fong Jones gets personally involved and sets up this huge campaign last year. And this year, uh, Trans Lifeline is being uh, destroyed, uh, apparently, because they're down two and a half million dollars somehow. I don't even know how you can burn out two and a half million dollars on a fucking hotline. Like, presumably, you need one or two people on a phone phone line uh, at any given time, and uh, that should be pretty cheap. But through true magic. They've somehow found a way to lose two and a half million dollars operating a phone line. Great job. Another success story from the productive members of society who wear dresses and call themselves women. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CAC of Remember to like and subscribe.